everyone. Today we're going to install Modic on the same VPS as we installed WordPress the last time. So if you didn't see the last video, how to install WordPress on a VPS, start there and then come back and build your Modic on. If you have a VPS already and you only want to know how to install Modic, you can do it with this video or you can watch my other videos on how to install Modic on the several systems. So first things first, we need to point our domain with the subdomain where we install Modic on onto our server as well. So two things. First, we need the IP address of our server we created last time of our VPS. So I'm going to copy the IP address here and create a new record. So let's get back here into our DNS. That's the domain name system where we hosted our domain. So create a new record here and it's an A record. So it routes the traffic to the server. And in this case, I'm going to create a subdomain because Mautic is going to live on a subdomain and the subdomain is called M dot winnerhabits.org. You can type modic or whatever you want. As soon as a user sees m.yourdomain.com, they are not unsure what's going on there as if there would be a name like marketing.winnerhabits.org or something. So create the record. This takes a few seconds until the record is live and until the domain points to your server again. So next, of course, we need to connect to the server. As we saw in the last video, how to connect to it, we do it the same way this time. So SSH into your server. And as soon as you are inside your server, you can follow this tutorial. So, okay, now we have our domain. So let's start building our database. First things first, we have the database script. You find the whole thing again on our blog. I will put the link in the description, copy that. The database in this case is called Modic. The user is called Modic as well. And the incredibly secure password is test1234. So make sure to create another incredibly secure password for your database and change this value. Let's take this and put it on here. And we see nicey, nicey. The user and the database was created. Now let's create a folder in here on the server. In this case, Modic is not packed as nice as WordPress. So we need to make sure to have the right folders and everything there. So let's download the latest Modic version. In my case, that's 441. You can take a look at GitHub what's the latest version. So you can go here, GitHub, Modic, find Modic inside here and go to the releases here. There you will find the latest release. Of course, you can say, okay, which release you can say, okay, I want to have beta because I'm a beta tester, blah, 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 or whatever, or you just take the latest community release. So this is 441, this is nice. So you can just have here 441. You can copy the link address here, or you can just take it from there and copy the line from the tutorial. So I will co copy these two lines. The first line downloads it, and the second line puts and unzips the script to the modic folder. So I will just Copy these two lines, go in here. It does the magic and now it unzips the whole thing into the modic folder, which is great. So after unzipping, I remove the package because I don't want to have the package on my root home. Okay, and now let's build the modic conf file as I told you the last time as we created the wordpress.com file, we also need a virtual host file for Modic, of course, in order to tell the server where to point the traffic to. So let's create this here. You will need a server admin address, so you can or should change this address to your 
admin address or to your personal email or wherever you want to be notified if something goes wrong with your server. The document root is modic, that's fine. And the server name is the name how you call your subdomain. So if you call it modic.yourdomain.org, then put this in here. I would just say m.winnerhabits.org because this is the name I gave my subdomain. So put this in here, copy that, put it into this file, save the file and exit. So now we have our file. So we can allow the file to be used on our Apache server. And of course we need to restart the Apache server as well. So now everything lives there and the server knows what to do. And we're going to create another SSL certificate which lives on the server from now on. And of course you need to put your real email address in here. I told you the last time, please don't put my email address in here because I don't care about your certificates. So put an email address there where you can get notified if something goes wrong with your certificate. So I get a lot of uh, emails, especially to this one, because so many people put my email address instead of theirs. So please put your email address in here and the right domain, in this case, m.winnerhabits.org. So I will take that and fetch a new certificate. It takes a little time. Unexpected error cured, the server will not issue a certificate. Creating new order cannot issue for winnerhabits.org because yes, I didn't copy the whole thing. Okay, let's do it again. And now it's going to work. Okay, nice. Congratulations. Make sure to find this message. If it's not congratulating you, it didn't work. Last but not least, we're going to give Modic the read and write permissions on the server in order to do anything what it needs to do. And then you can head over to m.your website and open Modic and finalize the installation. As I told you before, you will not have any problems or any environment check thingies if you follow the tutorials because all the PHP modules are installed. So make sure to install all necessary modules, do all the stuff and then come back here. So, okay, let's connect with our database. That's everything fine. That's basically exactly the same like with WordPress. Modic, 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 database prefix. We actually don't need a database prefix here. Test one, two, three, four. Okay, and now let's create a user. So admin test one, two, three, four. First name, admin, test, admin, at test.com, whatever. Next. So of course you should put in your data. Of course, I hope I don't need to tell you that. Okay, that's it. You can connect your SMTP server or whatever you want in here. We have several other tutorials, how to connect Gmail or how, how to connect uh, Amazon SES or how to connect your SMTP server. So make sure to watch the next video on how to connect this stuff. You can do this here. I will just skip that, click here on next and see, oh yeah, I can log in and the dashboard is there and everything is fine and Modic is working. So I'm really pleased that this tutorial was so quick to produce for you in order to show you how to do that. So now you will have one VPS, which costs you like three euros a month and you have Modic and you have WordPress. So yeah, make sure to connect to your preferred sending system in Modic and send the hell of newsletters out there in order to make a lot of money and automate this. <laughs> See you next time.